The Champions League is back. It is time for the knockout rounds of this competition, the round of 16, as Ajax face Olympique Lyon. This first game against Olympique Lyon is going to be Oscar Brown's first taste of Champions League knockout football. Of course, he does have experience of playing in European knockout competitions, in particular the Europa League, in which he helped his team Real Betis win the competition last season. But the Champions League is a whole new level. It's the elite club competition the most important trophy in club football. The world will be watching and if Oscar can deliver in the Champions League knockouts, he can establish himself as one of the best players in the world. It's Olympique Lyon versus Ajax in the Champions League. It can go either way. Two teams with a lot of quality. Who's going to come out on top? Find out in today's episode. Hey guys, how's it going? It is S2G and welcome back to another episode of the My Player Career Mode series. Today's episode is absolutely massive. Champions League football returns and it's the knockout competitions. Oscar Brown's first taste of Champions League knockouts. It's going to be fun to see how he performs, but of course, Lyon is not going to be easy at all. With six goals in seven games, currently Brown is the top scorer in the Champions League and hopefully he can add to his tally. 79 rated right now, but hopefully by the end of this one, we can see Brown with an 80 overall. As I said, today's episode is all about the Champions League. We've got two games against Lyon, first one being away from home in France and the second leg being at the Johan Cruyff Arena. Both games will be in today's episode, so by the end of this one, you guys will find out whether we make the quarterfinals or not. So if you guys are enjoying this My Player Career Mode series, make sure to drop a like on the video, that really helps the channel grow. If you're new around here, make sure to subscribe for more FIFA 19 Career Mode content, and let's get this one underway. Last episode, we got done with the transfer window. Unfortunately though, Ajax didn't really make any new signings, and they ended up selling the likes of Mazraoui, and of course, Dahlberg. So we've got this squad right now in front of us, Frankie de Jong, Neres, Tadic. It's a very good team and capable of getting to the latter stages of this competition. And also, the transfer window being closed means that no more rumours about Oscar Brown's future. Until the end of the season, he is going to stay at Ajax. Here's a quick look at our player objectives. We aren't really doing that well, to be honest. We've already failed the double challenge as we got knocked down from the Orange Baker. And also, well, consistency is key. We've been so close to completing that objective, but ultimately, we just couldn't score in that fifth consecutive game. Hopefully, we can get done with the Bonter score challenge at some point in this series again oscar is the top scorer in the champions league at the moment player of the month i've given up man oscar's been so close to winning the award but it just hasn't worked out hopefully we can score another five goals from outside the box so here we go guys champions league round of 16 first leg away from home against Lyon. if we can get ourselves a solid result to take away to the johan cruyff arena that would be big away goals are going to be massive for us looking at the other games in the champions league madrid chelsea will be interesting spurs psg juve valencia Man City Inter, my former team Real Betis are going up against AC Milan, Benfica Barcelona as well and Atleti Man United. Hopefully Betis can do well, I would love to face them at some point in this career mode. But anyways, time for Olympique Lyon. Oscar Brown is currently the top scorer of the Champions League with 6 goals in 7 games. Hopefully he can add to his tally. It is fantastic to see that the coach Eric Senhag isn't throwing any curveballs at us. He's going with a really strong lineup with Oscar Brown up front in that striker position. Ziyech out wide, Tadic in cam, Neres on the right as well. Frankie de Jong playing in midfield, a solid lineup. Olympic Lyon versus Ajax. Let's get right into it. So here we go, guys. Oscar Brown's first ever Champions League knockout game. The world is watching. Can Oscar Brown deliver? Let's find out. So this is how Olympique Lyon are lining up. They've still got Ndombele in their team. On the bench, they've got the likes of Cornet, but it's not that good of a bench. Their first team, though, they've got Memphis Depay, Andre Gomez as well, Mendy at the back, Denayer. They've got a decent team, but I reckon we've got better players, so we are favourites for this tie. Here's Andre Gomez on the ball for Lyon. Into Memphis Depay. That is one player we've got to be really careful of. And now it's Mendy pushing forward. Lyon are playing at home. They know they need a strong result. Still Mendy. Oh, that's a brilliant ball to Traore who goes for goal but misses as he hits the side netting. Lyon definitely look like the threatening team. Oscar does well to find Frankie de Jong. 
Still Frankie de Jong now. Frankie de Jong inside to eight single goals for goal. That is a decent attempt. Much better from Ajax. Clever pass to Tadic. Now Ziyech. This is what you want to see. Still Tadic now on the ball. Finds Oscar Brown. Oscar de Neres. Back to Oscar. Oh, that's a heavy touch. That completely ruined the attack. Oh, massive chance here for Memphis Depay. Memphis Depay goes for goal and thankfully it was straight towards Onana. That could have easily been 1-0 for Lyon. Oscar Brown just before the halftime whistle. Oh, that's a beautiful pass to Tadic. Tadic now back to Oscar. This is a massive chance here for him. Still Oscar Brown takes it wide. Puts it back in, but it's a terrible delivery. Halftime against Olympic Lyon and it's been a difficult game. Very less service for Oscar, so he's had nothing much to work with. Let's see if the second half can be a bit different. Honestly, this second half has been tragic. Barely any opportunities for us. We've barely been able to string a few passes together in the opposition's half. And although we could see a chance now, maybe it's Tadic on the ball. Goes for goal and that almost went in. A deflection of Bele. Corner for us. Can we do something from this? Oscar Brown couldn't get there. The chance might still be on. The shot's taken, but it's wide. Corner for us. Oh, it's a decent delivery. Oscar turns and shoots, and that's almost in. What an attempt from Oscar Brown. He almost put his team into the lead from that. So the first leg has ended as a stalemate. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the away goal, which is a bit frustrating. Everything to play for now with the Johan Cruyff Arena. It was definitely a frustrating game for Oscar Brown as well. He had a few chances which he could have taken, but ultimately not much service. And that's why he gets himself a 7.1 match rating. So Oscar did really get a nice boost for playing his 50th game in this series. And now he's got an 85 sprint speed, 84 ball control, 81 finishing. Some of his stats look really good at the moment. And I'm really looking forward to seeing him being an 80 rated player. Maybe by the end of this episode. As you know, Oscar currently does have a two-star weak foot, which is extremely frustrating. It makes his left foot pretty much useless. And to get a three-star weak foot, we need to score 30 goals with Oscar's weak foot, which is going to be ridiculously difficult. We're only at three right now. So imagine how long is that's going to take. Imagine scoring a bicycle kick with Oscar Brown. Guess what? We've unlocked the bicycle kick straight, which means it's actually possible. We're going to enable this straight, and you know we can only have five trades at a single point. So I'm going to be removing the early crosser trade because let's be honest, when are we going to cross with Oscar Brown? He is the main man up front. So it makes sense to enable the second win, finesse shot, outside foot shot, skilled dribbling, and the bicycle kick straight. So we had Olympic in midweek and now at the weekend we've got Venlo away from home. May as well sim this game and play the next one against Utrecht. Unfortunately though we only could get ourselves a draw in this one. So we draw points and guess what even PS we draw points. So if we win our next game against Utrecht which is at home we'll be just two points behind them. So Oscar Brown is going to be playing that and he needs to deliver. So here we go it's Ajax versus Utrecht and it's great to see the coach go with the strongest possible 11. Let's hope we can put in a good performance score some goals and of course get all three points. Oh, here we go now. Oscar Brown looking for the pass to Ziyech. Gets the pass to Ziyech and Ziyech bangs that one in. An assist here for Oscar Brown. And that is just world class there from Ziyech. And in the 10th minute of this one, we've managed to take the lead. Could be a chance here for our opponents. Onana oh, again comes through with the save. Fabulous goalkeeping there from him. Oh, and the ball is through to Oscar Brown. And I'm sure he's managed to keep himself onside. Here goes Oscar with all the pace in the world. Still Oscar Brown goes for goal with his left foot. On the rebound, Tadic does convert as we make it 2-0. Would have loved to see Oscar score that, but ultimately, we do make it 2-0, which is the most important thing. Well, this is not good. Looks to be a chance for our opponents here. And well, it was just above the crossbar. That could have easily been a goal for FC Utrecht. A good attempt, though, from them. Oh, Oscar Brown wins the ball back there. Oscar with the strength as well to continue his run. Still Oscar Brown. Still Oscar Brown goes for goal and that's a beautiful finish there from Oscar. I honestly thought he was going to miss that because the angle was so tight. But that is what Oscar Brown does. He scores goals. A sensational finish but the pressure he put on the defender there to win the ball back was brilliant. He could have laid it off but then the pass just wasn't there. And then the finish was just beautiful. What a goal from Oscar as we make it 3-0. Full time in this one and a comfortable win for us as we beat Utrecht 3-0. We continue to put pressure on PSV. This was a classy performance from Oscar Brown. An 8.7 match rating, a goal and an assist. Can't really ask for more. So Oscar's been rested for this one against FCM and not surprised at all. This was literally two days after that previous game. 
Hopefully we can win this one. We have equalized. It's one all and we do get the win. That is massive. Tagliafico scoring the all-important goal. 2-1 against FCMN. With Olympique Lyon in a couple of days, which we know is probably the most important game we've had this season, we've got to be fully fit for that. And that is why we've simmed this one against Wall. But the good thing is we got ourselves a comfortable 3-0 win. So we continue to be a couple of points behind PSV. And well, the title race is getting really, really close between the two clubs. The thing is, Ajax do face PSV later on in this series, so that game is potentially going to be a title decider. If Oscar Brown can deliver in this second leg against Lyon and fire Ajax through to the next round, it will be huge for his career. His name will be everywhere in the media and the world will know him. And this is an opportunity to establish yourself as a top footballer. Can Oscar Brown deliver against Olympique Lyon? It's time to find out. This one against Lyon is definitely one of Oscar's biggest ever games and to match the occasion, we need to give Oscar some new boots. So we're going to be using the Adidas Glitch Prep Skin too. Ajax versus Olympique Lyon, the second leg of the Champions League round of 16. This one is at the Johan Cruyff Arena at home in front of our own fans. We've got to deliver. A win sends us through to the Champions League's quarterfinals and a club like Ajax need to do their best to get there. We've got more quality than Olympique Lyon. I trust this team to get the job done. Brown starts up front. We've got Ziyech Taric Neres in the camp positions. Frenkie in midfield. Matusiwa playing in midfield as well along with him. Tagliafico, Blindol starting a strong Ajax team. Let's go out there and get the job done. Ajax had some memorable nights last season against Juventus and Real Madrid in this very competition. Can we add another one to the list by knocking out Lyon in front of our own fans here at the Johan Cruyff Arena? We're aiming for exactly that. Or could be a chance to cross it in. The cross comes in, but Oscar just about, man. So close to getting a foot to it, but ultimately he couldn't get there. Ziek now finds Oscar Brown. Inside to Ziek with a clever pass. And now it's David Neres on the attack. Still David Neres. Still David Neres. What's he going to do? Uh, he should have gone for the cutback or something. Oh, Memphis Depay has made a run in behind our defense. Still Memphis Depay. We know how dangerous he can be. Puts in a cross with his right foot. We get it away. Oh, the ball has been played through to Oscar Brown. Does he have the pace to beat Denier? He probably does. Still Oscar on the attack. Oh, he's beaten one. Still Oscar goes for the cutback. No, he couldn't pull it off and the ball's gone out. Here's Mendy. Still Mendy. Now Memphis Depay goes for goal and that was really close. Mendy, Depay and Dombele. These guys are causing us so many problems. That could have easily been 1-0 for Lyon. And if they score, we need to get two goals back because that would be an away goal advantage for them. Here we go on the attack now. Oscar Brown finding Ziyech. That's brilliant. Now Ziyech, the Moroccan isn't the quickest of players, but well, he completely ruined the attack there. Frankie de Jong back to Oscar Brown. Still Oscar beats his man, goes for goal, but the keeper pulls off an incredible save there. That was Oscar's first real chance of the game to try and go for goal. Keeper saved it and that is half time. A few chances for both teams. It's been an interesting half. Let's see what the second half brings. If the scoreline remains the same after 90, we're going to go to extra time. Here's Oscar Brown now moving forward. Oscar, a lot of open space for him. Could go for goal. Strikes it well, but the keeper again makes a good save. Imagine if Oscar would have scored that. A goal in the Champions League knockouts from outside the box in such a manner would have been unreal. Corner for us. Oscar controls it well. Still Oscar Brown goes for goal after turning and shooting. But it was saved by the keeper once again. A lot of power on that shot, but not much accuracy. Oh, Oscar completely tricks him there. Moving forward as well now. Tadic in behind to Oscar Brown. I think he's just about onside. Here goes Oscar with a bit of pace. Oscar goes for the shot with the outside of his right boot. And again, the keeper makes the save. There wasn't really a passing option there, so that was the only choice. Oh God, Memphis Depay with a free kick in the perfect position for him to score. And that almost went in. Onana saved the day there. Well guys, that is the 90 minutes. In fact, the 180 minutes wrapped up and it's nil nil over the two legs. We're going to extra time. I did not see this coming, but hey, it is what it is. Oh no, 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 not this way. Way too much space here for Memphis Depay. This is awful from us. They've got a chance. No way they completely ruined it. That is terrible from Leon, but they still might have a chance and we somehow cleared the ball away oh no freaking way man they've managed to get in behind our defense once again big chance for them cross comes into memphis depay and he's missed 
That was the easiest opportunity ever for Memphis Depay. A chance to send his team through to the quarterfinals of the Champions League and he's completely missed. I thought that was our Champions League dream over. Oh god, another chance for Memphis Depay. This is brutal, man. Memphis Depay can cut it back in. Cross comes in, Daily Blind clears it away. I cannot believe we're going to penalties in the Champions League's round of 16. It's literally a coin toss to decide who goes to, of course, the Champions League quarterfinals. It is not dependent on us. Penalties is always based on luck. It's unbelievable. 180 minutes of football plus extra time couldn't separate the two teams. This is crazy. Oh man, I I, I don't want to see this, man. This is just this is just too much. De Jong has missed his first penalty. Awful, man. Awful. Not the start we wanted. Oh, Nana. Can he be our hero? We need him to be. Otherwise, we're going to be going out of the Champions League. It's the opt to take this one. He's missed as well. Onana comes up clutch, makes the save. Come on. Can we score our first penalty of the shootout? Come on. It's going to be Artega. I'm not sure who he is, but come on. If he can score, that'd be brilliant. Let's go, guys. We've scored this penalty. This is huge. And now it's a chance for Leon. Onana, please. Come on, Onana, make the save and become an Ajax hero. Well, he can't keep this one out. It was the perfect penalty. It's going to be our defender, Magalan. Why is Magalan taking a penalty so early on? Hopefully, he can score this and he's missed. I cannot believe this, man. Why was the defender taking a penalty so early on? Why not give it to Oscar Brown? Just awful. It's all on Onana now. It's going to be Cornet to take this one. And that's a top-class penalty. It's Oscar Brown's chance to step up. He's got to score this. Otherwise, his team can well kiss the Champions League hopes goodbye. Can Oscar Brown convert? Can Oscar Brown score? He's missed. I cannot believe this man. Oscar Brown has missed another penalty. That is just nuts. He's missed it before as well in this series. And he's missed it again. He needs to work on his penalties, man. Because it was just awful. And now, Leon, if they score, I think it's done and dusted. And yes, it is. Olympique Lyon have gone through to the Champions League's quarterfinals. It is heartbreak for Oscar Brown and co. Ajax are out of the Champions League in the round of 16 itself. This has got to be one of Oscar Brown's most disappointing moments in his career. Getting knocked out in the Champions League's round of 16 on penalties. He missed his penalty as well, which makes it even more brutal. He had the chances to win them the game, but he couldn't take them. And that's why Lyon are through to the next round. From being linked to Barcelona and almost joining them to being called overrated. Have a look at this piece from ESPN. As they tweet out this, Oscar Brown fails to deliver on the big stage as he misses his penalty. Ajax are out of the Champions League. Is he overrated? And well, questions are being asked now. It's really harsh to say this because Oscar Brown is currently still the top scorer of the Champions League. And it's not his fault the team got knocked out. It is what it is. This happens in football. But it is one of Oscar Brown's lowest moments of his career. The question is, can he bounce back from this situation? The Eredivisie is still going on. And he's got to win at least one trophy with Ajax. The dream of winning the Champions League with Ajax has been crushed. We've been knocked out in the round of 16. And now our focus remains on the Eredivisie. We've got to win the league with Ajax now. There is no doubt about it. A bit of good news is Oscar's now 80 rated, which is great to see, but man, to get knocked out on penalties in the Champions League, that is just brutal. So that is it for today's episode. We're ending off the episode on a very disappointing note, and that's probably for the first time in this series. And you know what? This happens in a footballer's career. You have ups and downs, and this is probably the worst moment in Oscar's career so far. The question is, can he bounce back? Hopefully he can. But that is it for today's episode. Really hope you guys have enjoyed this one. If you guys did, a like would be awesome. If you're watching my content for the very first time, do subscribe for more FIFA 19 career mode content. And I'll catch you guys next time.